More than 50 people attended the unveiling of a fountain at Marsden Park on Friday in honour of the late solicitor John Marsden from Campbelltown. From the, the family's point of view, it is a little bit sad. I mean, we all have memories here. I'm uh, the only one that's still doing business in, in town and girls, that's the only reason that uh, I'm doing this today and not one of you. Um, but it's, it's tinged, tinged with sadness because we do recognise the involvement of our mum and dad and uh, the involvement of all of us uh, in our early days and, and John in particular uh, during basically all of his life. Um, but then I suppose that sadness is very easy to turn back around into a celebration because the bulk of what was done, if not all of what was done by the Marsdens, and I mean all of the Marsdens, has been for the good and for the benefit of this, this town. And I'm proud to be a part of that. So John continued his quest for a fountain. He then bequeathed a sum of money to the council on condition that they would establish a fountain, build a fountain, in one of a number of areas. And those areas, Sally had to remember it well, and I know Paul does, because we got a committee together to work out where it would go. The first and preferred area for his fountain was at the corner, sorry, at the intersection of Queen and Dumeric Street, Campbelltown, just outside the window to his office. The busiest intersection in Campbelltown. He wanted a bloody Trevi fountain out there. <laughs> Um, another, another area was the art, art centre and then he said specifically in, in his will and least of all Marsden Park, <laughs> the area known as Marsden Park. Uh, Sally and I uh, had due regard for, uh, for John's wishes and Paul had a similar regard and we made a recommendation to the committee that it go into this uh, Marsden Park here. And I think it is the most appropriate place for it to be and I hope that you all agree. At John's funeral, Michael Kirby referred to him as a change agent someone that was always able to recognise wrongs and actually set about changing them for the better. One thing that John never sought to change though was his relationship with Campbelltown. It was the one constant, I really believe the one constant in his life. Let this fountain be a constant reminder to the community of Campbelltown of John's love for Campbelltown. Thank you. Hey. AM 1942 to 2006. John will be remembered for his passion, service and, commi and commitment to Campbelltown, the city he loved. Then there's a quote underneath it which says, there are two great cities in the world, Rome and Campbelltown, J.R. Marsden.